Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about car-to-car -car communication. I'm going to let you guys know about the technology, what's coming in our near future, and how the safety, what it can bring to us in our lives here. Car-to-car -car technology is essential in our everyday lives. In about three to five years, our cars will be communicating with back and forth with each other, letting us know what is what upcoming accidents or pedestrians in the streets. Having a huge impact for our near future, the safety most of us live our lives hoping that we make it from point A to point B. Hoping that we make it from point A to point B. This is an accident here, and uh, according to the popular science in May 2009, car accidents killed an estimate of 115 people per day. Wouldn't life be a little less stressful if you knew that there was technology that can keep you and your family safe while driving? Cautious drive, that's just a little thing I made from point A to point B. Most of us hope we get from point A to point B safe and sound as well as our families and friends. Cautious drivers can avoid only so much danger, especially when a car runs a red light or a truck or pops out of a blind spot. Car communication could get easier with a little we're letting us know when the car is coming around the corner and can also possibly put the brakes on the car for us. First, I'm going to be talking about the technology, the features of car-to-car -car communication. Second, I'll be talking about the people's inattention about road accidents. Third, the endless amount of things this new technology could have on us. Most of car communication networks develop use with the same Wi-Fi chips that we have in our laptop computers. But it's not enough because a lot of it's crashing already. We have studies in Europe and Australia which they're studying with the same gigahertz that we have in our phones. They started off with uh, prototypes of 2.5 gigahertz which they have been good but they're not let it responding on time when the accidents are actually going to be occurring. So now they're getting approval and they're working with the 5.9 gigahertz and that's actually letting, actually letting the driver know within 21 seconds before their accident occurs. Safety is undoubtedly one of the areas in which a car cannot become perfect as damages, injuries, and passengers protection depends on a huge number of factors. This is a picture here of the cars, the way they, they send the radio frequencies to other cars and the beams back to them, let them know. Um, upcoming cars coming in. Cars um, communicate to every car within 500 feet. They've done the trials with 700, two car trials, and that's where they got the factors of the cars actually letting them know 21 seconds ahead of time before an accident actually occurred. Now I'm going to break down the source info of on car accidents, according to the popular science. This is a picture of the car getting data from uh, 500 feet away. This is new Mercedes bins that they they have it now equipped in uh, Europe and some other cities, uh, which show the warning signs of like water or um, ice in the road. This is black ice. It's also going to let you notify you ahead of time when there's black ice. There's going to be sensors on the road here. If you don't know what black ice is, this is kind of the way it looks. You can't really see it. It looks just like the street. You know, let you know potholes, sharp turns, water in the streets. Coming up on the third topic here, the peace of mind of knowing when your kids go to school. They all, in Tokyo, they were designing a, a new chip that they um, select a little handheld device and you place in your kid's backpack, kid's um, pocket, or even if you're an adult, you can wear it. But uh, it lets a car know when uh, you're running around the corner and it'll send a warning sign signaling them that you're around the corner to slow down and stop. With the benefits, it's going to lower our insurance premiums, lower the cost of fixing cars because there'll be less accidents. And to conclude this, we all know how car technology is essential in our everyday lives. You will now have a better understanding on what 
lives around uh, cars will be in the future. That's it.